Hey YouTube, it's Malcolm's Reptiles. Today is a fun, fun day because we've got clutches that are ready to be set up. So I'm going to do with you, this is kind of a calling back to the older days of Olympus for those of you that have been with us for a while. Uh, and it's calling back. We're going to do some more of that because of a certain milestone we hit. But I guess even before I get to that, I need to address the elephant in the room. Yeah, I know. Look! We're trying to increase subscribers and views, so hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We're trying anything and everything, and it's kind of like Billy Madison said, you're only cool if you pee your pants. So, yeah, actually, no, I was cleaning tubs and spilled water over myself, and, you know, we just went with it. Uh, at least that's the story I'm going to tell everybody. I mean, you can make up your own decision. Think I pissed them? You know, put it in the comments. Who cares at this point? <laughs> and if I did piss them, you'll never know anyway. Actually, you probably would, because I would literally be telling you if I was that so was drunk I was pissing my pants on cam on camera and I'm not it's just coke today but I said this is a callback to our older videos we used to do something where we would do a clutch update you know we only had like five or six clutches a year so it's really easy to do an egg cutting and then do a clutch update and all of this and it kind of got well you know just, there's just too much of that and it would be like well if we did an egg cutting video and we did a clutch update video that's going to take up half of the videos we'd ever do but uh I know people have missed that so we probably won't do it for every clutch but we have a few clutches here I do want to do a clutch update on because they're kind of some interesting animals. Uh, tell you what we're thinking. And then we're going to go to Patreon. And right today on Patreon, we are going to share our holdbacks with them right away and tell them our plans. So that way they'll know what's going to come up available for them, which they should by the time the studio's up. Well, depending on which one Kurt puts up next, I already have a list dropped. So if you're not on a Patreon, you probably just missed a chance to buy some snakes, but these will be there first. So let's go. The first one is going to be clutch number six. That we are going to show you. Yes. And this was a really exciting clutch for me. Uh, not so much Kurt. This is not his favorite type of clutch. Now, they've all shed in here. The inside of the tub's terrible looking. But they're coming out of there right now as we go. You know what? I'll even tell you guys what our holdbacks are. Then I'll go to Patreon and tell you the plan with them. So, uh, and I'll show you how we kind of do this. So what this pairing was, I guess I should start with that, was what we thought was an inchy ivory ended up being an inchy ivory pastel, right? And then it was also bred to a champagne and things like this popped out. This one was born 63 grams. This is after yolk absorption and also after probably having a pee in there because it looks like they all had a pee in there when they shed. That's why it's a little bit gross. So that is kind of what we've got going on. Now, what we know this to be is kind of in question. We really don't know for sure. But I'm going to make this one be 210602. What that means, for you guys that don't know, is we serial number all of our snakes. By serial number, it just means year 21, clutch number 6, baby number 2. Baby number 1 will be reserved for what I'm keeping, to be honest, because I like to have my number number 1 sometimes. It is kind of the thing. And then we'll log what we know this to be. What we know this to be is a champagne, right? It's definitely that. It's definitely pastel. And it's definitely yellow belly. Now... Could there be inchy in it? I suppose there could be, but we're just gonna go with those right now and call it that. The next question is, what sex is it? So if you've never sexed a ball python, it's really simple. Try to get it to calm down. Put your thumb right here by the butthole, right there, just like so. Bend the tail back, pull this scale back, a little bit of pressure, and looky there, looky, looky there. You see there's nothing going out and in, nothing really red. That would be a little female. So now I can log this as a female. And then I'm going to simply make a label here, which is not that difficult. It would be easier if I had multiple hands, or one more hand. And what we'll do is put the number, the known morph, and the sex. That will just help us later on when we're trying to find animals for sale, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. These little label makers, man, they are awesome. My handwriting sucks. I know some guys do other ways of labeling it. Some guys use computers, but this is just cheap, easy, and effective. Let me put this little one up. Oh, I'm going the wrong spot. That's not where this one goes. Sorry, little one. You didn't quite earn that right. Uh, close, but no cigar. So then you place it in its tub. Put the label on, and you move on. So that is how we do that. I won't bore you with doing that for every single one. So now I'll just go through. I'm going to show you one more. Well, I'm going to show you all to you. But this will be the one that we are keeping right here. 
It's going to look very simpler, simple, or very similar, not simple, very similar. And I did sex this earlier. Here's the thing and why I'm keeping it in case you want to know. Because you're probably saying that's the same as the last one. And you'd be right. It is. Uh, this one I think is more likely to have the inchy in it. Just looking at the line and the colors on it. But uh, it may not. I just really like the tail. So this was my favorite of the two. And that's going to make it my, my hold back. So let me go ahead and put this one in its spot. And you know what? Since this label's so easy to make, I am going to make that really quick. Because the only thing I have to change is the number. And this also lets me track back our genetics from now until 2000 and I think 17 when we produced our first clutch or 16. I think it was 17 because we did this from the word go. I think well, maybe it may have been our second year before we started doing this. And so that is a really simple numbering system. So as I was saying before that post-COVID coughing fit, but don't worry, Kurt took a cough drop. It's going to be good now that we stole that numbering system from John Dog. Like again, simple year clutch baby number. Uh, we bought a baby from him a long time ago and he shipped it with this number. And I said, man, that's really cool. And I just kind of snatched it. So I would suggest you do something similar if you are going to breed. For one, it helps you maintain records. If something weird pops out, it's easy to go back through, see what was going on or see what caused it, help you figure those things out. I like providing the number to the customer. Not everybody does. I think most breeders track, but most don't provide it. Provide it. I mean, it's just a little something extra, right? But we're not going to set up each one of these babies. Well, we are, but we're not going to do it on camera. I just want to show them all to you really quick. So we didn't hit a single normal. And that's because we used a super in the ivory. It's a super yellow belly. And this is one that told us for sure we had pastel. This is obviously a pastel uh, yellow belly. Flip the belly over for you all so you can see that kind of pattern in there a little bit. Okay, I'm not going to force it, buddy. There you go. You can really kind of see it right through there. Definitely a pastel yellow belly. Really, really cool. Now, as you guys know, champagne, Kurt hates it because it eats the pattern away. And she adds pattern. So this little animal is quite the stunner. And they're all coming around that 60 gram mark, which is great for a baby post shed. By now they've lost a little weight since they were born because they've, like I say, they've peed. They've let that yolk digest, all of those kind of things. So this is really good weights for these guys. Uh, but this, look at the tail on it too. Really, really cool. There's where I'm kind of seeing that same thing I was seeing in mine that I kept. But this is a uh, inchy champagne yellow belly. So very, very nice three gene animal. Put these two back. Now this is, champagne is very variable. It's one of the things I like about it. So this is a very, very dark animal with a really nice line going down, like a broken line, almost looks like a roadway. And then has, if you like the ringer, a double ringer right there. I mean, which it doesn't want to show off. It's a little shy. There we go. Now you can kind of see that. Uh, so full ringer and a full ringer at the end of the tail. Really, really cool looking. This would be just a champagne yellow belly though. It's also got a really nice gravelly look to it. So really, really cool. And then we'll get the last two out and they're going to kind of come as a package deal. This is our only straight yellow belly we hit. And again, it is just a straight yellow belly. Uh, really nice one. Crazy head stamp. The belly is just, you know, well, maybe if I can get it to show it. The belly looks cool, just trust me, uh, but definitely <laughs> yellow belly. So we'll put that one back. And then the last one is a little inchy yellow belly. There you can see the belly really well on it. And you can definitely see the inchy influence. You know, it's going to brighten the color a little bit. And for me, what I always see is, I always see the banding. I like the inchy when it bands, and you can see it's band, 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 band. Band, 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 band. It's definitely inchy. So we you know that's in there. So that's kind of what we know we got, guys. Uh, we had seven eggs from this clutch. We hatched seven babies. So everything came out perfect, as you can see. And man, our year is off to a bang and start. Kurt, any questions about this clutch? So, what were the parents again? So, the parents on this time were an inchy ivory that ended up being pastel as well. So, an inchy ivory pastel that's inchy super yellow belly pastel to a straight champagne. So the best thing we could hit would be an uh, inchy pastel yellow belly champagne. I don't know if we did or not, uh, you know, but what we really were expecting to be the best thing we could hit would have been an inchy past, or sorry, inchy champagne uh, yellow belly, which we did get ugh, one of those right there. Right there. So we did pretty damn good. Anything else? No. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. We're going to slide over to Patreon and talk a little more about these babies and what we're going to do with them, and we'll catch you guys next time.